Welcome to the Fight Ready Martial Arts channel. Today we're doing a follow along shadow boxing workout. If you like the content, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications and all that good stuff. Let's go! Alright, we're gonna start off with the jab. Every 30 seconds, we're gonna add a punch or a kick. Make sure you step in with your lead leg and straighten out your punch. 10 seconds left, keep it up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we're gonna add a jab to make it a double jab. Make sure you step twice with your lead foot and keep on moving. If you are not moving, you will get timed and you will get countered. So make sure you keep on moving. 10 seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next up, we're going to add a rear side cross. This time, we don't make another step. Make sure you step twice with the jab and rotate your foot on the ball of your feet to make sure you rotate your hips. So again, two steps and one rotation with three punches. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to add the lead side hook. Try to rotate your feet on the lead side. Make sure to turn your elbow 90 degrees and make sure you rotate your shoulders with every punch as well. Keep working. Five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we're going to be adding another rear side cross to the combination. Make sure you move your head after the combo, as you are likely to be countered if you're not. It's always better to move your head preventively than not move at all. Even if I have no indication of my opponent countering my cross, I will still move my head just in case. Alright, three, two, one. One, finally, we are going to add another left hook. The trick of making this all a powerful combination is the rotation of your shoulders and hips. After every lead side technique, the rear side is loaded up and ready to be fired like a slingshot. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to take a short break, you can pause the video here and resume whenever you are ready. We're starting off with a jab again. Again, make sure you are stepping in with your lead leg and straighten out your punch. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna add the cross. Try to make your movement as fluent as possible and turning your hip with the punch. Also, try to rotate your shoulder when punching with your cross. Like Mike Tyson said, try to make two punches sound like one punch. This is the art of punching. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna add the lead hook. Again, make sure you fire all your punches right after each other, not one at a time. Rotate your lead side foot and turn the hip to maximize your punching power. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Now we're gonna add the low kick. Step forward with your lead leg and turn your feet outwards. You can either land with a flat foot or on the ball of your feet. After landing on your lead foot, we're gonna twist your hips and get some more power into the kick. Five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we're gonna add a rear side cross. Plant your foot firmly on the ground and again, try to rotate your hips and turn the shoulder as well. Don't lose focus on the first part of the combination though. A lot of people focus just on a new technique but forget to stay focused on the first part of the combination. So keep your focus. Five, four, three, two, one. Finally, we're gonna add the lead side hook to finish off the combination. Make sure you rotate with all of your punches and kicks. This is where the power comes from. Ten seconds left. Keep it up. Keep up the tempo. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take a short break. You can pause the video here and resume whenever you're ready. First off, we're gonna start with a rear side uppercut. Make sure you keep your chin down, as most people are tempted to lift up their chin when throwing this strike. Keep rotating, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we're adding a left hook to the combination. Again, make sure you rotate your hips and shoulders. When throwing the left hook, try to shield your chin with your lead side. This way, you are sacrificing a bit of power for defense. But trust me, it's the way to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to add the rear side cross. Try to make the three punches as fluent as possible. The punches are coming from many different angles. Chances are, when you're throwing this combination in real time, you likely penetrate the opponent's guard. Five, four, three, two, one. Next up, we're adding a roll in the combination. You should always try to move your head, but in this combination, we are really going to emphasize on the roll. When throwing the right hand, your head is already moving slightly off the center line. Use this to roll to the opposite side. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we are adding another rear side cross. Make sure you put your weight on your rear side leg after the roll. This way, you can transfer all of your weight in the punch. Five, four, three, two, one. Finally, we are adding a switch kick to the combo. Try to make a step back with your lead leg first, followed by a step forward with the rear leg to make sure that the kick is more powerful. The switch kick is a hard one to master, but when done right, it can be a lethal weapon in your arsenal. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, we're gonna take one final break. Pause the video now and resume when you're ready. Now we're going to use all of the techniques we have done previously for one minute straight.
you can use every strike we have done in this workout or add some strikes of your own. Feel free to work on any technique you want. Keep working, mix up the strikes and kicks, keep moving. Fifteen seconds left, keep up a high tempo, challenge yourself. Five, four, three, two, one.